Numbers are in from the so-called 100 deadliest days of summer on Utah's roadways. News for Utah's Rick Aaron joins us now live from Woods Cross with the grim statistics. Rick? Emily, these hundreds of demolished cars in this lot here at South Bountiful Auto Parts provided a striking backdrop as the Utah Highway Patrol and the Utah Department of Transportation revealed that 102 people lost their lives on Utah roadways between Memorial Day weekend and Labor Day. Now that total is up by 12 over the 90 that we lost in 2017. And UHP Colonel Michael Rapich says we all have to do a better job to avoid distracted, drowsy, and drunk driving. 18-year-old University of Utah freshman Mariana Sablon of Tooele could have easily been one of those statistics. Back on July 21st, she was driving on Highway 73 with her boyfriend when she rolled her Mazda three times. But luckily, they were both wearing their seatbelts, and that saved their lives. All that I can really remember just vividly is I can feel like the moment that I lost control, I can feel the wheels just not not taking my commands anymore. And I can remember that at that moment, I just repeated, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, until we stopped rolling. Mariana tells me she feels extremely fortunate not to be one of those numbers on that poster. You see, two people died on the day before her crash and four people lost their lives on the day after. Reporting live in Woods Cross, Rick Aaron, News 4 Utah.